Thanks, Tony. Yep. All right, Christmas just uh, two weeks away now, believe it or not. But uh, it's not too late or too early to deck the halls. Gavir is taking the show on the road. Joining us now with this week's How Does Your Garden Grow segment. Gavir, good morning. Hey, guys, good morning. I hear Tony talking about snow. That's going to feel a little bit like Christmas. Are you ready? That's the question. Derek Thomas is here. Uh, Derek, Hi guys. 14 days. 14 days. I am not ready. I am so not ready for Christmas yet. That's why we're down here at Garden District. Right at the corner of 14th and 14th Church. 14th and Church. Yep, Northwest. And we've got Joe Carmack, who is going to tell us how to get ready for Christmas. Joe, I don't even have a tree up. What do I need to do? When I get yes. my tree in, what do I have to do to make sure that it makes it through the holidays? Because this one's absolutely Great. beautiful. Right. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to be prepared for it. So before you get started, make sure you want to know the right tree size and to also have the right tree stand because that's real important. You want to have plenty of water, have a water can, and just be ready for it. And that's the water the best can thing. you've got right here is perfect because right. you've got to have a spout. Right. Don't do like my husband did, which is take a big, <laughs> take a big bucket and try to pour the water right. into the tree stand. That's not going to work. It's right. Messy. Absolutely. <laughs> now, the other thing that I see that you did that was a great idea, and I think I'm going to use this one this year, We've got poinsettias underneath the tree. Wonderful idea for, for if you don't have the gifts. Now tell me how that came about and can we do this at home with the poinsettias? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's a real easy fix. Um, just put them around the tree That's and it's beautiful. really easy. Make sure you trim the branches around that so you have plenty of room. But you want to trim the branches anyway so it makes the tree a lot prettier in that it stands up straight. Now I love that. Now the other thing, Guavir, you know, everyone is going green. Yes. And I think that Joe has some great ideas for going green. Look at these pine cones. See, those are so These easy. are fabulous. Love it. And, and I mean, those you can just find You around can find the house. those hiking. And now we don't, we don't <laughs> impact the tree when we harvest these either. Yeah. Right. And the other thing, these little trees back here, I think these are absolutely Jill, what are those? smashing. That is just fresh clipped boxwood in an oasis form and you water it and it'll stay alive for four to six weeks. So now so we've, we just tripped this from the garden. We've clipped the boxwood, but we haven't killed the plant. Exactly. You know what I love about that too is that you don't have to go crazy. I mean, no. just a little bit says Christmas, doesn't a, it? A little bit says you know, Christmas. You know what says Christmas to me, Joe, is a poinsettia. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. it's interesting to me because I, I looked over and I go, what is this sparkly stuff all over the poinsettias? Right. What is this? This is just actually a little glitter that we put on. So it's just a really easy thing to do. Get some glitter, sprinkle it on. Uh -huh. and. It just sparkles. That's great. And, and, you can, and you can just put those just in different spots around the house, and it's real easy to do, and it says holiday, right? That's that's a great idea. Now, Joe, tell me about this plant. This is so unusual. Right. This is a new poinsettia that just came out. It's the winter rose, and so you have, definitely have options. You don't have to just do the... This is the poinsettia? Uh, yeah, that's a poinsettia. It's the winter rose poinsettia. It just came out. It's brand new. Yeah, wow. I love it. Now, so. here's, here's a question. A little bit of Scrooge. Okay. What if I'm not going to do a tree? Can I decorate what I've already got? Because this is absolutely gorgeous back here. Right. There are a lot of things you can do. You can take some poinsettias, put mm -hmm. it around any sort of house plant that you have. Uh, again, you can take some Christmas ornaments, hang them from any structure that you want. That and is so, so creative. You don't actually have to get a Christmas tree. You can. There are other options you can do. Make it really easy for you. That's awesome. And you know, you're talking about the tree. You know, one of the things I think is really important too, I guess, with the tree and safety is once you decorate, you got to keep it away from certain places, right? You definitely want to keep it away from a heat source. Okay. So if you have vents along the floor, turn those off and that will keep your tree nice and fresh as well. And is there water. any, and now is there any set way to water? Absolutely. One thing that you really want to focus on is to not mix anything in the, in the water. water. Just plain water. water. Just no plain chemicals. water. No chemicals. All right, guys, no we got to go. Everybody, okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks a bunch. Just plain water, guys. That's all right. So much to talk about. Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm sorry? More news ahead on the Midday Show, Steve. And